happy opening day, everyone. It was an amazing sight to see today as we saw many ballparks filled with people, the sun in some places, snow out in others, but all in all, it was a great day for baseball. I am so excited to get right back to baseball season. It is one of my favorite times of the year, so let's get right into the action. Of course, we gotta start with the defending World Series champs and the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Colorado Rockies out in Coors Stadium. This game got off to a wacky start as Cody Bellinger hit what appeared to be a home run, yet Justin Turner thought otherwise, running back the first in attempt to tag up, which made him ruled out and Bellinger got out only an RBI single out of the incredible hit. The Rockies were not messing around though as they got their sticks going to take the lead in the third inning and kept it going into the fifth where a ball was hit right under the World Series MVP Corey Seager's glove for the RBI single to take the 4-2 lead. Oh, it was just weird. In the top of the sixth, the Dodgers got a sack fly from Turner to drive in Kershaw and then Muncie would get a single to drive to right that would drive in Mookie Betts but would throw out Corey Seager to end the inning all time up for a piece but in the bottom half of the inning the Rockies got it going again as they hit the three singles off of Clayton Kershaw to drive in a run they would then drive in another one to cap off their incredible 10 hits off of Clayton Kershaw through just five and two thirds inning incredible performance by the Colorado Rockies offense weird and not so in very abnormal performance for Kershaw the Dodgers were looking to get some last chance magic rally going in the ninth as they were down three with the bases loaded with their star Mookie Becks up to try and take a hack. But he lined out to second as the Rockies hung on for an 8-5 to victory over the defending World Series champs. So very strange and rough performance for the elite Dodgers as many players who made very unusual plays and ab being abnormal of sorts. I think it's just the new season jitters, but it was very weird to see for sure. So hopefully the Dodgers will bounce back and there are going to be some exciting games for them upcoming this season. Now on to some more exciting games with walk-offs to start off the season. Starting off with the Twins versus the Brewers where the Twins led for the majority of the game up into the bottom of the ninth where they were looking to close out their 5-2 lead with a victory. Yet the Brewers had other plans as their best player Christian Yelich hit one way back to the right where it bounced off Max Kepler's glove to put the game within two driving in a run there. Then Travis Shaw had a beautiful hit to the gap, driving in runners from th second and third to tie things up, sending this one into extra innings on opening day. Oh, it's already getting intense in the MLB. On to the bottom of the 10th. Runner on third. Orlando Arcia hits one, an infield blooper. The Twins get a good throw to the plate. But it wasn't in time as the Brewers came off a come off a miraculous comeback comeback victory with a walk off on opening day. Wow, what a game! What a win for the Brewers! Oh, what a comeback! Already getting insane on opening day, and we're not done there yet. As we go on to another walk off, two walk offs on opening day, with an exciting game between the Phillies and the Braves. The Phillies got it going early as Alec ba Boom got a sack fly with the lo bases loading, hit it in just far enough to drive in a run to get on the board in the first inning on opening day. Then Day uh, Re Real Mutu then picked things up again in the third, hitting one on the ground deep in the infield to drive in a run as the Phillies took the 2-0 lead. But in the seventh, Pablo Sandoval tied things up just like that with a moonshot off the inside pitch to deep right center for the two-run homer after only hitting one homer in 82 at-bats last season with the Giants. He's off to a great start this season, though. In the ninth, Ozzie Albies hit a blooper to shallow left that looked like it was going to drop until Didi Gregorius made a highlight reel play, diving back, catching it onto his stomach for the out and maintaining the dead even battle in Philadelphia. In the tenth, things got as wild as Mar Mar even more wild as Marcel Azuna launched a high fly ball to center. It was caught by Roman Quinn, who launched one, a missile right to the home plate, where he got Ozzy Albies out at the plate. What a throw there. 
Then in the bottom of that inning, Gene Segura had a runner on third looking to walk it off, and that is exactly what he did. With a chopper right down the left field line, went over the third base, right down into left field for the win for their Phillies first walk off on opening day since 2011. Ironically, that was the last year they made the playoffs. So the luck could be building up for the Phillies who are going to be a fun team to watch this year. Especially I can tell already by that with Bryce Harper's new cleats that we saw in that game. Just a great win. Two walk offs on opening day. Who would have thought? But that wasn't probably even the craziest thing we saw today as we finish off this amazing opening Opening day in the MLB with a spring snow fest in Detroit. Miguel Cabrera didn't care though as he hit a first inning two run homer of reigning AL Cy Young Award winner Shane Bieber in the snow. You can't make this stuff up, folks. After the snow died down, Jacoby Jones hit a double to deep left to drive in Victor Reyes all the way from first for another run that gave the Tigers a 3-0 lead in just the second inning. Getting the sticks going in the snowstorm. They didn't care how cold it was in Detroit. These guys are from Cleveland. These guys already lived there, so they know what's going down. They know how to practice. They were prepared for this, especially Miguel Cabrera. Yet Bieber got back in the zone as he struck out 12, becoming just the fourth pitcher in the modern era to strike out 12 plus batters multiple times on opening day. The Indians were not able to get anything going offensively at the dish in the entire game up until the ninth inning where Robert Perez went yard bringing in two runs to make it a one run game. But it was a too little too late for the Indians in this one as the Tigers get the win in the wild weather opening day game. Still just a wild hit by Miguel Cabrera. He slid in the second as he didn't even know that the ball was a home run because you couldn't see it blended in with the white snow. All around just a great baseball sight to see today as we saw fans back in the, back in the crowd. That was amazing to see. And although it was April Fools, we weren't fooling around because sticks were flying, arms were going, and it was a baseball day today. So that was great to see. Just great to see amazing players out there back out there on the diamond and watching teams compete as the race for the for the World Series is, has started. And it's going to be a great season, folks. I'll be here to cover it every step of the way. Hope you enjoyed opening day. There will be lots of baseball to come, and I will see you all in the next one.